Biden's menthol ban may be more racist than what it attempts to cure. I'm Andrew Esquire, and this is The Legal Mindset, where we help you be your own judge. Now look, I'm gonna start out with this because I need to be very, very clear. Cigarette smoke is bad for you. It's not good for your health. And there's no ambiguity about that. It's not great. I don't smoke, and frankly, I don't like to be around cigarette smoke. So let me be clear, I don't associate with that personally. But as an individual, I respect people's ability to make their own decisions. So generally, I fall in line with allowing people to do what they want. And I like laws that allow that because they're in line with our constitution. They're aligned with our founding principles of freedom and liberty, which is something that is greatly at stake in modern America. But Biden, he feels elsewise. Now, while the liberal tract may be to offer more freedoms and liberties, yada yada, it just seems like there's more and more restrictions, not just with the Rona, but just with so many other things. Like we've talked about in other videos, there's a lot of coming restrictions on guns on the Second Amendment. And there's also a lot more restrictions on businesses that are coming down the line. And one huge thing is going to be this ban on menthol cigarettes, which will absolutely be challenged by the tobacco companies. But let's look at exactly what they want to do. The Food and Drug Administration, which is the FDA, a giant executive agency, they want to ban menthol cigarettes. Now, for those that don't smoke, menthol cigarettes are sort of minty cigarettes. They actually filter out some of the acid taste of raw tobacco, and therefore, they're a little easier to smoke. And admittedly, they were targeted towards black communities, towards minority communities, way back in the day when they were marketed by Philip Morris, by large tobacco companies. Even the Surgeon General said, when they're looking at this issue, they're looking at disparate impact. And we've talked about disparate impact before. It's a very important word, but disparate impact means it disproportionately impacts a certain population. Now, this doesn't prove direct discrimination, but it's often used as a federal standard when you're looking to protect a certain group. Now, in this case, they're saying, look, menthol cigarettes largely affect black, LGBTQ, and low-income families and peoples. A big push of this administration across several legal fronts has been their supposed racial equity agenda. As part of that, they're looking at different areas where they could potentially offer that equity. And here, the FDA says, look, easy win, nobody likes cigarettes, we're just gonna get rid of menthols. But here's the problem. Will that actually fix smoking? Well, here's the cool thing. You can look at other countries because other countries have done similar bans. They've banned things like menthol cigarettes. For example, Canada. Canada's banned menthol cigarettes. And guess what? You can still get them in certain places. You can still go to Native American reservations or up there, First Nation reservations, and you can buy menthol cigarettes. Also, they could be illegally imported just like Canada could import them illegally. We can also get illegal cigarettes from Mexico. So there's always ways for things to filter into the US. Think about this, marijuana. It's becoming more and more legal nowadays and it's more and more available legally in the US, but it's been illegal for, well, as long as I've been born, but as long as I've been born, it's never been that hard to get pot. I mean, come on. It's always been there if you really, really wanted to find it. And that's the same thing with banning something like cigarettes. You're going to be able to find them illegally. It's not gonna be a hard stop on that cigarette coming into the US. Additionally, if you look at countries that have banned them, like in Europe, well, menthol cigarettes going away, is that gonna stop people from smoking? Well, if they're truly addicted, they're gonna switch to unflavored cigarettes, just regular plain old cigarettes. Or, crazy idea, they might move with technology and they might be pushed over to e-cigarettes. They might start vaping, you know, mainlining that nicotine. And maybe that'll work better for them because, hey, there's a lot of flavors available to vape. So there's a lot 
of other options that were gonna keep people smoking. And at the end of the day, is the problem the menthol? No. The problem is the smoking. They wanna get people to stop smoking. Well, how are you gonna do that? There's other ways you could attempt to do that. And I think culturally, America actually has a huge advantage because we've kind of made it not as cool to smoke in the US. It's no longer done in movies and TVs and magazines. And that's had a huge impact. Compare the US to let's say Europe where smoking is considered still cool. A lot of young people still smoke and it's considered part of youth culture. There's a lot of other countries that have the same issue. And the US, by far has a lower average smoking rate than many countries in, like Russia or even a Turkey. Governments always want to enact harsh laws to try to stop something. But what they end up doing is creating a problem they never even foresaw. And here they could be creating criminals. In that way, it would be even more racist than what they're trying to cure. What they're trying to cure is the disparate impact on the black community. Well, okay, that's actually a good thing. Let's try to improve health. That's great. But here's the thing. If a particular community desired those cigarettes, what would they try to do? They might try to buy them illegally. And while the FDA is not gonna make possession of cigarettes illegal, they would make sale of cigarettes illegal. So a person selling those cigarettes or reselling those cigarettes would be committing a crime. Are you telling me that police are gonna have a reason to search your car because they see a couple of packs of Newport menthols in your back seat? That's insane. But that's exactly how Biden's law would turn out. It would just give police that extra excuse to search your car, that extra excuse to stop you. And who is that gonna impact? The very population that is the chief user of menthol cigarettes. In that way, Biden is not thinking clearly. He's going for that easy W to show he did something. But in fact, it could end up on the long term harming more than it helps. And that's generally why you have to focus on exactly what the changes are. What's your desired outcome and how are you doing it? And we've really got to focus on how successful Biden has been on executing his intended big changes.